Hey, this is Mr. Coker with Geometry Lesson 3-3, Finding Missing Sides of Right Triangles with Trig Functions. To begin with, I want to start by saying that this concept looks difficult at first, but once you get accustomed to it, once you do a couple of them, it's really easy and really quick. To do this, I'm going to have these two examples. And the first step, and this is important, you always start with um, start with the proper first step. First step, I'm going to do this triangle first. It's to find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the side that is opposite the right angle. Since these are right triangles, they always have a 90 degree angle. The right angle and the side not touching it so you see in this triangle these two sides are coming out of or touching the right angle this side is not therefore this side and use a better marker this side is the hypotenuse secondly we want to find the adjacent side we're given an angle measurement other than the right angle. This angle measurement says 18 degrees, and it's this angle. Well, this angle is also is touching the hypotenuse. It's also touching the side that reads 19. This side that's next to the angle is adjacent. And that leaves one side left, the side that is not touching the angle we're given. It's actually opposite the angle that we are given, and this is called opposite. That's the first step, labeling the triangle correctly. Second step is to select the correct trig function and then set it up. Well, we look at what sides we are given. Under hypotenuse, we have nothing. With opposite, we have the value of x, the unknown, the variable. And adjacent gives us a value of 19. So we have values for opposite and for adjacent. We look and see which of the three trig functions uses opposite and adjacent. And of course, that's tangent, as you can see. So I'm going to put tangent. But now, I'm also going to add something to it. I'm going to put tangent, and I'm going to put tangent 18. In parentheses, I'm putting an 18, because that is our angle measurement. Let me write that down. Trig function. Trig function and angle measurement. So, tangent of 18, and we're setting this up equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Our opposite value is x, our variable. It's our unknown value, and adjacent is 19. Now, we solve this as a regular equation. On one side, we have the single value, tangent 18. And on the other side, we have x divided by 19. This is a one-step equation where we, we look at what operations taking place is division, and we do the opposite multiplication. However, as a shortcut, I always like to say, if the x is on top, you multiply. And you set up, well, let me write the 19 first. We're going to take the, our side measurement, 19, times tangent 18. We want you to put that in a calculator. Now, since I don't have a calculator on me, I already have the answer that I found. 
and it gives us approximately 6.2. 19 times tangent 18 equals 6.2. Tangent 18, put that in a calculator. You're going to, it's, it's easy to input. 19 times, hit your tangent button, 18, hit equal. It's very easy. For the second one, we're going to do the exact same thing. Here we're going to find the side opposite the right angle, not connected to it. And we're going to call that the hypotenuse. Because that's the hypotenuse. Next, we're going to find the angle that we're given, which is 65 degrees. Now, which side's touching that, of course? That is the 10. And that is the adjacent side. And the side that's left over is always our opposite. Now we select the correct, now that the triangle is labeled, we select our trig function. We have the values for adjacent and for hypotenuse. Well, which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? This is, of course, cosine. I'm going to put cosine, and then I'm going to put the angle measurement, 65. Once I have, I have cosine 65 equals, now I need to do A divided by H. Our adjacent side is 10, and our hypotenuse is X. And now, again, we solve this as an equation. Now, this is a two-step equation because we have to get the x out of the, we have to get the x out of the denominator. We would multiply by x and then divide by cosine 65. And that's fine. I like as a shortcut. When the x is on bottom, we divide. If the x is on bottom, we're going to divide. And what we're going to do is take our 10 and divide by cosine 65. Again, in your calculator, you're going to take 10 divided by cosine 65. Hit the cosine button, 65, hit enter. And have the answer here, that's 23.7. And what's, and well, that's it. One more time. First step, label your three sides. I greatly suggest that you go hypotenuse, adjacent, opposite. It's the easiest, that is the easiest order to go with. Next, once your three sides are labeled, select the correct trig function based on what two sides you have. For instance, adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse should be cosine, so you would select cosine. Last, once you set up your, well, set up your equation correctly putting, for instance, opposite over adjacent, or in this case, adjacent over hypotenuse. Make sure you set that up correctly, and then you look at, is the x on top, is the x on bottom? When it's on top, you multiply and it's on the bottom you divide. And when you multiply or divide, take your side measurement and either multiply or divide, depending on which side the x is on, by the trig function and the angle measurement. Most of this information is given to you. 
and every the whole thing will be done. The, all the actual mathematical part you can just do in a calculator. So hopefully this helps and thanks for watching.